Okay, so welcome back. Uh, one more error code that I seem to have students have issues with is the 498 error code. Okay, um, I'll show that to you real quick. So that 498 can be a little bit of a nuisance. All right, so there could be several things going on here. Um, I have had where students possibly didn't name it the same thing um, across studio to see more right so let me show you so right here you'll see like we have a run and a start okay um boolean so you have to make sure that you do both as boolean so when you do your tag names in studio they have to be a data type of boolean and then this is all capital start. I try to tell people, you know, if you name it all capital in studio, you need to name it all capital in Seymour. Um, there are times when as long as it's spelled the exact same way, you're not going to have an issue. But I have had issues where fixing the punctuation um, actually fixed the issues that we were having. So, and then there's a location run there. All right. So possible issues, right? <laughs> That you could be having number one all right run is um spelled the exact same way so we know that that's not the issue but what are we missing here notice that i have controller tags highlighted here notice i have controller tags highlighted here um and we have run right but we don't have start when I go to my main program and then my main routine, you'll see that I have a start button and a run button over here to the right. All right. So what's going on here? It's possible that when you made your tags, possibly you didn't set up one of them as a controller tag. So you'll see that the run button is actually set up as a controller tag, but the start button is nowhere to be found. So in this case, what you would want to do is go over here to um, your local tags or your program tags and just monitor your tag. And then boom, there you go, there it is. So that's an issue, okay? So if this start is a local or program tag and is not a controller tag, then you're gonna have an issue. So let's just say you go in here and you create a new tag and you call it start all right don't forget to change the data type to bool you can just type it in and it should come up or you could hit the other thing but the main thing here is to make sure you're a controller tag so if i edit my tags um if i edit this properties of this tag make sure right here under scope you see the controller symbol all right, if you don't see that controller symbol under that tag, that's gonna be an issue. All right, so now when I go back to my main routine, I'm still running, right? I can even try re-downloading it, but I'm not going to. But what's gonna happen is if I were to hit the button up on Seymour, you're not gonna see anything happen. And the button's actually working on Seymour, but it's not doing anything. Well, remember how we named that one start and named this one down here start so now we have to make sure we're choosing the correct start so what you may want to do next time is make sure you're offline edit your tag go on and get rid of this program tag here that says start and then go back into your main routine and choose the start that would be left over with the controller beside it there okay which it looks like it automatically filled it in a while ago all right now when you re-download it and put it in the run mode shouldn't have any more issues with it So now when I hit, you can see it kind of going on. 
And I'm going to pause you and bring you up here. You can see the lights coming on and off. Okay, so no error codes. So just remember when you're doing the program tags or um, the 498, if you get that error code, you probably made it a program tag or you could have misspelled it. All right, so just check on those two things. Once you get those done, you should be good to go. Thanks.